Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another Fred Schultz extravaganza. I got to tell you, I've been up and down. I had a little eye problem. First, I had a heart problem. I dealt with the heart problem, which led to the eye problem, which um, is going away. So, you know, the eyes um, still a little messed up, but it's uh, it's getting better. Mark Gong, how you doing, my friend? Very good friend. Anyhow, you know, I want to say once again, you know, I wasn't on last week because I, I had to go to the doctor. I had to go to a plastic surgeon. Obviously, he didn't work on my face. They said there was uh, not enough time to fix his face, but they did work on my eye. So anyhow, so I can see what's going on and absolutely love it. Kenny Chavez. What's going on, buddy? Paul Farrell. God, I got to tell you, you guys are nothing short of the best people in the world. Really, really are. You know, I'm going on my uh, personal page tonight because I still haven't got this connected with uh, Flagpole Productions. Uh, thank you, Facebook. Uh, that was pretty cool. You know, they make millions, so they step on a little guy. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't mind being a little guy. Uh, tonight, you know, I've got a, a couple of good guys on, you know. I've got James McGuff. Yeah, I probably pronounced his name wrong, but, you know, I call him Howdy, so I keep it real simple. And, you know, Howdy's been a friend of mine for a long, long time. And uh, Ryan Courtney, how you doing, brother? Very, very cool. Oh, my God, I don't believe this. Check this out. This is my daughter from back east. I haven't seen her in, um, let's see, how old is she now? She must be in her late 60s. No, just kidding. Oh, now the hate mail is going to start. Uh, but anyhow, um, I haven't seen her in a long time. She used to be my traveling partner. She used to travel with me uh, everywhere in paintball. Absolute kick in the pants. Um, you know, I can't get into the stories, but they were fun. Absolutely fun. I absolutely enjoyed it. So anyhow, um, but yeah, I'm healing up. I'm, I'm back out here. I, I'm not on my flagpole productions, but I am on my regular uh, Fred Schultz page tonight. And I've got, like I said, I've got my buddy on here tonight. Uh, howdy. I'm going to actually bring him out. I usually do my shout outs and then I bring out my guests. But I'm going to bring him out here tonight anyhow, right away, because, you know, all my shout outs. You know, he he's a very, very good friend. Oh, Trina, you're blowing me away. You're on here. Unbelievable. Ha. Yeah. Yeah. We we actually called her Little Debbie for years. But, you know, she uh, she wanted to go back, reverted back to Trina. So, hey, Trina, fine. Let's roll with that. And I like the name. It's very, very cool. Um, but I do love Little Debbie, too. Little Debbie was a very good friend of mine for many years. Yeah, and a lot of you out there, I'm sure, know what I'm talking about. But anyhow, that's a whole other story. Uh, what do you say we go ahead and I drag out uh, another friend of mine, a guy that uh, he's a kick in the pants also. Please, everybody, welcome. Howdy. How you doing, my friend? Very good, Fred. Good to have you back on, a, on the air, man. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate You know, I felt... It, it was kind of lonesome, you know. I mean, I have so I had so many people get a hold of me, you know, and it it was kind of strange, you know. Everybody telling them to get well, which you know I was doing. That's fine, you know. But you know they they said that they actually missed seeing it on Tuesday night the show, and you know I can't even begin to tell you how that made me feel, Howdy. It was kind of a trip because it was something I absolutely didn't expect, you know. And uh, it, I, I'm sure you know what this is right here, huh? Yeah, we had we had a we had a big yeah we had a big hole, man, on that Tuesday night airing, man. <laughs> uh, I appreciate like, it, know, man. You know, absence makes the heart grow fonder, Fred, doesn't it? That is, yeah, that's it yeah. does. But it does. You know, I just uh, I I absolutely missed it. I even got my sister in law watching. You know, that is going to be one of the things doing it on this page. Uh, this yeah. is my sister in law, my my brother Bill, and you know. Um, you know, it's just like around my house here. <laughs> These women keep us in line, period. So, and here, my sister in law, she's the best of the best. Love you, D. Hey, D, we got Trina watching tonight. Can you even believe that? Wow. I mean, oh, God, you know, Trina, you know, she's my daughter. Um, we traveled, she traveled a lot in paintball with me. She was a paintball junkie for a lot of years. So, she, we she, she's a we kick in the pants. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, doing it on this page is kind of kind of weird, you know. Um, we got the James watching tonight. 
Yeah. Quaker. Yeah. There's another guy I really like too, you know? Oh, excellent. excellent. Yeah. Paul Farrell. I got to mention these guys because Paul Farrell and Ryan Courtney and stuff. You know, these guys have watched me every time I come on for, for a couple of years now. And it's, it's hard to explain, you know, I, I'm sure you feel the same way about some people, you know, you, you can't really put it into words, just how grateful you really are to these people. It's kind of, a, you know, words just seem kind of cheap because it's such a, a great thing to, it just makes me feel good. It, See, it, I really it, like it lost for words, you know, but. You know, I always, I always say it's our family reunion. Like I said at the end of the year, it, you know, St. Louis family reunion. I, I mean that. It, you know, oh no, it is. To, it's such a beautiful way to end the year. It really is. Oh, I absolutely love it. You know, it may affect maybe I I can get my daughter Trina to come down there. there You'd you love go. to meet her. She, oh yeah, she's pretty cool. So anyhow, um, I'm going to let you hang with me and do my shout outs tonight. Good, good. Yeah, I'm doing this thing just a little bit different than I normally do it. Um, but, you know, there's a couple of things. You know, Damon Fowler, you know, he has a Gator Melee, right? Excellent product, man. Excellent. Gotta you know, it's it. an excellent product. But he's an excellent guy, too, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What a great, great guy. So, uh oh, here we go. I'd love to. I'd love to have you come down there. Trina, you would love it. You know, anybody that's anybody in the sport of paintball is there. And uh, we hang out. We have a good time. Uh, you know, actually, we have a great time, don't we? Oh, it's, it's St. Louis is just a blast. Actually, every event, Fred. It, it, you know, like I said, when we get together at the family reunion. Absolutely. You know, St. Louis is like that end of year where we're all huddled together at the same hotel and everybody's having a good time. And it's just, it, you, know, you know, it's just like I said, you can't ask for a better way to end the year. You, you know, know I, I give Trina a real good example because Trina's been with me to Lively's Masters. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And so, Trina, it's just uh, almost like uh, Lively's Masters or Jerry Braun's World Cup. I think she'd been in New York with me, too, because yeah. she traveled it quite a bit with me. So, um, yeah. Uh, with back then. The World What's Cup that? and the Masters, man. You know, and well, Jim's event was worldwide. Well, actually, uh, Jerry's. So with event, Jerry's. Yeah, yeah but... I think, you know, as far as uh, Jim, he used to drag in more from, you know, Russia, Japan, and, you know. Right. You know, yep. uh, he drag more of those players in, man, you know. Well, you know, if you notice in my o opening thing, you know, when it comes on, I've got the Russian team and the Jap 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 Japanese team, Japan yeah. team, whatever you want to call it, I guess. Anyhow, yeah. they showed up there, and there was, like a, there was like five or six of each of them. They didn't have enough to make a team. That's why there are pictures on there. I'm in the middle of them. I put those guys together and made them a team. And it was funny as hell, man. Try listen to them to try to communicate and everything like that. But yeah. you know what? They had a great time. And, you know, to me, it, it, did I like to win? I always like to win. You know, that's just how everybody is. You know, if you go to a tournament saying, I like to lose, you know, you're crazy. You know, everybody wants to win. But it's never always in the books. So the second thing for me is having a great time. And at those events, Howdy, same oh. way with the one in St. Louis, I win when I get there just to hang out with everybody, man. You know, Fred, uh, it's funny that you mentioned that because those two flags, I got both of them at the end of the tournament. Oh, really? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, at St. Louis, I can't find a Russian flag because when I moved from the, you know New Jersey out here, it probably got misplaced somewhere. But uh, I, I still have the Japanese flag, and they all signed it, man. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's filthy, but, you know, hey, you know, the years and years of uh, holding on to it, man. Uh, it, just a fun event. I was, try, I was actually checking for air gun. I wasn't even playing that. Yeah. I, I was working yeah. for Tom on that one, yeah. 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 Hey, we got Jeff Thompson up in Canada. How are you doing, Jeff? Jeff's yeah. one of the band members. A lot yeah. of people. They like this new time slot too, man. They like this earlier time. Yeah, slot. you know what? I, I'll be honest with you know because my time slot was always seven o'clock Pacific time, and Trina says she'd been to both of those, and yeah. she has. I thought so, but you know the reason I actually dropped it back down to six o'clock. Jeff is a big factor in that because yeah. Jeff goes, "Oh, Fred, you know," and you know Jeff's getting old. Sorry, Jeff. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah. And, you know, he, he goes, yeah, man, he goes, uh, you know, I, I'm falling asleep by the time the show's over. So, you know, I decided to try it at six, you know, six o'clock is hour earlier. I didn't want to step on anybody's toes, but obviously gotta, I haven't. And it seems to be working out pretty good. Got to gotta cater to our brothers from the north, man. There you go. <laughs> you know, I, I'll tell you something. You know the Boonie Boys, right? Oh, of course. Love yeah, Ab absolutely. I mean. There is not one boony boy I do not like, period. Yeah. And anyhow, when I was up there playing in the dome up there years ago, um, it was a five man. I had CP up there and we were having a great time. And and then I, the boony boys, they were playing too. And so what we did, you know, is after I got done, I told him, I says, God, you know, I says, how would you five guys like to come and play with the five of us and we'll go do a tournament? And they go, you're kidding. I go, no, I'll fly you down. We'll have a good time. So we did that for two tournaments, and we did we did pretty well too for throw together teams. But you want to talk about have a lot of fun, uh, yeah. man! It, oh, it was cooler than oh, I just loved it. Fred, Great, why do we, man. We do it for the actually. I always say this, yeah, hey, Fred. We all put more money into the sport than we'll ever get in return. Oh, oh yeah. The friendships that we've made around the planet. I mean, seriously, around the planet. How do you put a price on that, man? It's priceless. Well, let me point something out. Everybody that's on the screen, obviously, except my daughter, Trina, I would not have known if it wasn't for paintball. You think uh, how many friends and friends that you absolutely love to see, you would not see if it was not for paintball. You would not have met if it was not for paintball. Am I right? Absolutely. I mean, and like I said, Fred, I always say this. I was blessed because I always say the golden era of paintball. We got to see the where it all started, man. You know, you know, back at the garage shops and everything. Uh, you know, so absolutely. They'll never oh, we got look. Look who's watching. Oh, you want to talk about dynamite? Oh, there she goes. There's my doppelganger. She's not. All right. <laughs> ah, I love that girl, man. She is a she's a kick you know, in the pants. Great job writing for the magazine, too, man. You know, well, she really everything she does, I think, is good. Yeah. And, and you know, one thing she's got, she's got an infectious smile. Yeah, her smile she, is just so good. Oh, she's got, the, she's got the number, man. She's got the number twenty-four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rob my, Barnett, how you doing, buddy? My, my doppelganger, man. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got some great people watching here tonight. Hey, um, you shout outs you're missing your shout outs man oh yeah yeah we're gonna get the shout out here you know the, the thing is you know most people watch the show tomorrow yeah because you know they watch it like in 10 different countries but they don't watch it tonight the problem i've got now is not being able to get on flagpole productions is i can't check any of my stats yeah yeah that really i mean that just really sucks what? big time right every time i gotta say this every time i've tuned in lately I've seen a lot of new, new people join in, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, pulling in, a, you know, I mean, uh, to me, that, that says a lot, man. Uh, if people are getting interested. Um, they, you know, it, it, it's like I said, we, we do this for the enjoyment, man. Uh, you guys, Kevin, you, and, uh, you know, we all do it because we love it, man. Like I said, working the IPO, uh, fun time there. You know, I, I got to uh, I got to work with Odin the Wonder Dog. <laughs> you know, old Jessica Jessica had a had a uh, big great day, man. Man, what a beautiful pup, man. So oh, very cool. You want to know? Yeah, something? it's all about the and like I, I got I'll mention something about Ruben later, but like I said, we got to get to our shout out, man. Gotta, yeah, I'm gonna do shout outs because I I got those paintball guys sitting in the. The green room right now too. I want to introduce you to those guys in just a little bit because you know they're uh, Noah Herrick. You know I, I met him. I went down and I did a Lynn Trong's fundraiser. Yeah. And and I went live. You know Bud and I were down there and and I went live and it, it was just absolutely great. I had David the Reaper doing uh, him and uh, my friend Keith Kissel. They were doing a walk around and stuff and it was uh, it was just absolutely fun. But anyhow, I met this kid. He comes in and he introduced himself. He goes, yeah, I said, I'm Noah Herrick, you know, and yada, yada, yada. And we sat down and talked, you know, and you know how some people, how do you, when you talk to them, 
they just kind of click with you. You know, it's oh. uh, it, it's just one of them things that it's hard to explain. But, you know, and, and obviously we're getting old. It sucks, but it is what it is, right? Yeah. You know, you, you're not going to turn that back. So, you know, you live with it or cry every day about it. So oh, I just live with it. It's good. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but then, you know, I meet this kid, Noah, and he's got a buddy, Max. And uh, these two are youngsters are really big and heavy in the mag fed. But, you know, what they are is they are what you want to keep promoting our sport after we're gone. This is the type of people that that you want to keep pushing paintball and 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 MagFed, all of that. And you know, MagFed's pretty big. Am I right, Audie? Oh yeah, it is. As a matter of fact, one of my friends uh, over at Legend, Dan, Dan, Dan Kutcher, they call him the Mute. Uh, one of my favorite people, man. He's a, he's a strict Mag MagFed player, man. Good player too. You know, but uh, seeing there and seeing him there, uh, that was always nice, man. Actually, I I run into him all, all over the place in weird places, uh, but usually at legends events. Uh, that's where I always ran into him. and uh, just a nice guy, man. You know, beautiful family, man. That's all you can yeah. say. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You know, some of these people I see on here tonight too. You know, I'd like to put some of these people on his show. You know, Rob Burnett and Kenny Chavez. I'm going to bring Kenny out sometime. Oh yeah, you know, Kenny. Kenny's a great kid. Uh, yeah. Great kid. And so, and then I've got uh, Keith Kissel, you know, Keith Kissel, he's my wingman. Yeah. You know, he's a guy that falls asleep when we're driving someplace, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, anyhow, uh, he's talking about the decay of nations, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. And that's down at SC Village down in LA. And, uh, you, you know, I, I've i got three fields that I absolutely adore. Tim Schloss's Gateway Paintball. Yeah, yeah. Dan Kobe's Panhandle Paintball in Florida and SC Village out here in Southern California. Now, obviously, I have my tournament up here at yeah. uh, Shooters All Season Paintball up in Nicholas. That's another great field. But, you know, Floss's oh. field, Danny's field, and, and Geo's field are just amazing. And Geo's field is legendary. Like I said, I played that back in a day. I'm, I'm proud of my jacket. I got an original Satcom patch, you know? There you go. And, as a matter of fact, I, I have a, I, I used to have a Satcom t-shirt, man, from back in the day. I think I gave that to uh, Ralph at the Paintball Museum, though. You know, some of the shirts, you know. I, I, Shiloh. I don't know if you remember right. that. Uh, but mm. yeah, the old no. California fields. Uh, War Zone, that was Lou Grubb's field. You know, wow. At least, yeah. Ah, uh, Keith Kissel said Bricktop's in the house from Pennsylvania. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You know, that's a guy I want to get on the show, too. You know, I watch his stuff once in a while. He's, yeah. uh, you know, I just like straight up people, yeah. period. You know, um, I don't try to be anything I'm not. You know, yeah. I mean, either you like me or you don't like me. You know, I'm like big deal. One less Christmas card. So it is what it <laughs> is, you know. You know, uh, we missed you for a long time. You're back, and then we missed you again. Uh, is this planned? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to tell you, man. Brick top. There he is. There we go. You know, but, uh, you know, like, here we go. See, he, know, he knows him down there, Bear. You know what we're doing, Brick Top, is um, that the K of Nations in September. That's uh, SC Village's 40-year anniversary. Yeah. That is my 40-year anniversary in paintball. That is Bud Orr's 40-year anniversary in paintball. So the we're all going to link up together. I'm going to go live. I'm going to bring my studio down there, and we're going to go live from there. And uh, all of us have been in it since 84. Is that a trip? Yeah. No, yeah, I've been in there. Yeah, actually, you're making me feel old, Fred, because I was in it since 83. So. Well, shit, you are old. See, yeah. that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> well, you yeah. Now, see, do like I do. Tell everybody you started when you were six. Yeah. You know, you got to keep it simple. So, hey, but you, Everybody that I talked to about the WCP uh, L event in Florida, they just loved the event. They said the judging was great. They had a good time. It, you know, it, to me, that's what it's all about. You know, it, it is, you know. When when Kevin came to me about the WCPL and he asked me if I wanted to be part of it, he, he goes, do you want the West Coast? And I, I said, yeah. I said, who else is going to be in it? You know, and then, uh, you know, he talked a little bit and he goes, uh, 
And that's when we had um, Rico in it. But then, you yeah. know, Rico was only good for the year because he had health problems. He was getting rid of the field and everything. Yeah. So then I, I called up Danny, you know, Dan Colby. And I asked Danny, I says, you know, would you like to be part of it? And he says, oh, Freddie he goes, I'd love to be part of it. So brought him in and called Timmy up and got Timmy in. And then we knew it was a wrap after that because I couldn't think of better people to be associated with in the, in the yeah. WCPL. Bet that he goes to that I can reach that he's local here. You know, like I said, he, a lot of times he used to do the NXL event um, as far as teching and, and, and taking care of his products. Uh, uh, same thing with the ICPL. You know, I don't know what they're charging for boot space now, but uh, I hear it's pretty high. So uh, maybe that has an effect on things. You know, yeah, uh, it could be. You know, I, I know that uh, the NXL, you know, boot space is very expensive for that. I, um, but, you know, Tommy, Tommy's part of the band. And Tommy, you know, Tommy tells me, he goes, you know, Freddie says, you want a booth? I'll give you a booth, you know. So, yeah. but I, I told him, I said, you know, I ain't got nothing to sell except me, you know. And I just kind of uh -huh. walk around doing that, man, you know. Well, you know, you, Fred, that, that in a way that is selling. I mean, you're promoting the sport. That's what we all try to do, man. You know, For years. Like, yeah. You know, uh, like I said, we've been at, we, both you and I, we dropped out of the sport for a period of time. I owe getting it back into the sport to Donaldson, you know, you know, it, it, Donaldson dragged me back in, you know, it, it, like a fish, you set the bait out there and, you know, <laughs> you bite the hook and you, <laughs> you, pull it in, you know, uh, it was easy. They put a gun in my hands, even though I was a crippled bastard, they uh, put a gun in my hands and brought me right back in, man. It, it, you know, and what can I say, man? It was it's cool though, but you know, I in some ways it's great because I got to finish with Kevin. You know, well, that, yeah, but, and, and look at you know, I mean, Bud and I are still playing. You oh, know, we're yeah. in our we're in our seventies. You know, obviously, we don't play X ball. We don't we don't play at the the level we used to. Yeah, but you know, I play for fun. Yeah, you know, well, and I got to tell you, you know, I still get the same same excitement. Every standing time. in the starting gate, waiting for that whistle yeah. to go, it's the same thing as when it when I was younger. How about yeah. you? Uh, yeah, yeah. You want to like I said, I, being that I can't play anymore, uh, to me, my excitement is just getting together with the people, and, and to me, uh, that's what it's all about. Just having a good time, hanging with everybody. You know, uh, yeah. you know, meeting new people. Uh, we always wind up meeting a hell of a lot of new people every event. Oh. I can't yeah. tell you the people I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. but uh, making bread with them, you know, uh, that, that, there's something special about that. You know what You're I'm absolutely saying? Absolutely right. Yeah, you know, <laughs> getting to know families. You know, a lot of a lot of players they have their families. We all get to know a little bit more about them. Yeah. It, it's a beautiful thing. It really is. Like I said, you can't put a price on that. You, you can't. This guy Brandon says, "How do I feel about paintball being back on ESPN?" You know, I, I, I feel good about it, um, Braden, but uh, it, it's how it's going to be presented. Yeah. You know, uh, back in the day, you know, I, I was the first one that had the number one show on ESPN for paintball. Yeah. And it, it took nine months to put this thing together, man. It was like having a, the baby you didn't want, you know. Yeah. And, and I wanted something different. I just didn't want the shooting in the woods. Because back then, you know how how do you was back then? People call you a warmonger and all this other stuff, man. You know, <laughs> oh and, yeah, and and so you know I didn't want that. So when I decided to do a show, I wanted something special. That's why we shot it right on New York Street at, at MGM Disney. That, that had and to be a blast, man. <laughs> that, that was beyond a blast. But the uh, the point being is what it did is it made people on the outside look at it and go, wow, if ESPN's putting this on and they're doing it at Disney, Disney doesn't do anything, yeah. you know, that's, uh, that's bad. That's unholy. And it, it worked out. It, we yeah. reach millions of people. Yeah. I had all kinds of guys that own fields calling me up going, I didn't even know these people are like, Freddie, I can't tell you how many newbies we're getting out here because oh, they've God. seen it on TV. So, you know, that was, and that was back in the day when it wasn't so easy yeah. to do it. So, would, you know, Brandon, I'm happy about it, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we did the, uh, I think, the first shoot in the woods, which was the uh, Sports Channel, not Sports Center uh, or ESPN, but Sports Channel. I got one up here, Bob McGuire. What? Bob McGuire. Yeah. Bob McGuire Outdoor Sports. I, I still got the video from it. 
Yeah, and that was way back in the day. But see, that was, I wanted something, yeah, way back in the day. I just wanted something different. And it worked out good. It was fun. It was fun. And Jerry was, Jerry, yeah, Jerry was narrating it uh, with Jim Neighbor, man. He was like the color commentator, man. (laughs) Yeah, I I had Jerry. He was one of the refs. It it was pretty funny. But then, you know, that led to the MTV show. And it was the number one road rules show that year. It yeah. kicked butt, man. They showed it like 160 sometimes, you know. Yeah. So, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, back in the day, it was not as easy at all to do stuff like it is now. Oh, no. Um, yeah. It, but, it, you know, uh, Braden, I got to tell you, that was really a good question. And, uh, you know, Braden, I'd like you to stay in touch with me sometime, too. I'd like to put you on the show with me. Um, yeah. It can it's either broken, benefit or hurt. Uh, uh, broken dreams. Uh, you know, like I said, a lot of people, uh, you know, uh, but also a lot of hard work, man. It's been paid with a lot of hard work, man. You oh, know, you always want absolutely. better. Uh, you know, what is, uh, Fred, I, I, you know, like I said, with uh, a sport being televised, you're trying to make it a, uh, you know, a sport where, you know, you can actually – they call it professional, I guess. You, you got to have professional refs, man. Yeah. I, I, I've been harping on that for years. It, it just seems to fall on deaf ears all the time. Uh, I, I think it'll know. come to that. I, I really do. I think it'll yeah, come but to I'm, that. I'm saying, like, you know, if you really want to have a good professional, you got to have refs in areas that can cover events, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know, you, you, got, you got to, man. It's, it, it, it's one of these things where they're more important than the players. Yeah. Well, now look at this. You know, you got Kenny Chavez saying Braden seems like a good kid. Now, you know, it, coming from Kenny, you know, I definitely take note on that because, you know, Kenny's a good kid. Yeah, no, you know, is. and yeah, he's a real good kid. You know, him and I linked up and uh, I'm trying to tell you how we, we linked up in St. Louis. You know, he got a hold of me and, and you know, he came there and uh, I would just, uh, you know, I just I like the kid. You remember, Like we were talking about yeah. earlier, you know, some people just. Uh, I'll like Noah, him. you know, they just seem to be somebody you like. Yeah, I'll see him at the ten man. I don't know if Kenny's going to make the five man, but I know I'll see him at the ten man. Oh yeah, you you'll know? you'll probably see him in. Yeah. See here he is right here, Brandon. I'd be down hundred percent. Be at the Fox Shuffle. Rob Walker was on it. And it was awesome to see. Well, yeah. right on, Braden. Braden, you stay in touch with me. Um, if you haven't sent me a friend request, please do that, and I'll accept it. And we'll link up here in the future and we'll get you on hey, can i make a little hey fred uh, you know uh, I, absolutely i get a lot of friends requests and i usually say you know with all the stuff that goes on with facebook nowadays i prefer to ask me right there when you see me and, and we'll hook up there you know this way i know it's coming from somebody uh, legit you know it, it's just i i just have a tough time accepting things i get bombed with them all the time there for an event i'm like uh, do it during the event, man. Hit me up, man, while I'm there. So I hope people get a, get to hear that, you know. Well, I got like 500 and some requests. Yeah. <laughs> and and what I do is I vet them like you can't even yeah. believe. You know, and the thing is, some of them can be scared. You don't know, man. So, it's, yeah. You know, I mean, Jesus, I met the uh, papal day's wife. Uh, geez, she was pirate. Yeah. Time for a period of time, I was like every other week. I was getting another friend's request from her, man. You know, <laughs> it was terrible, man. Yeah, Ryan you know? Courtney. This is another guy that uh, I, I really think is good for paintball. I don't know if you know him or not, but if you get a chance, you're going to want to get to know him. Yeah. And Teddy Bear is watching. Wow. Yeah, have we got some cool people? I got to tell you. Yeah. The best of the best. Oh, and look at this. I, I told you old people watch this. Here we, oh, there he is. There's my brother. <laughs> What's going on, Kevin? You know what? Um, I've, I've had this guy sitting in the green room forever here. Yeah, Master Blasters. I, I want to bring out a guy. I haven't given my shout outs yet. But we'll get to it. But um, I, want, I want to bring out a, a kid that I, like I said, back in the day, he really, really you, don't forget good kid. Shout-out. Yeah, I'm going to give the shout out, but I'm going to bring him out. Please, everybody, welcome. Those paintball guys. Still have the... <laughs> Noah Herrick. Oh, hey, what's Noah? going on, guys? Sorry, I was talking to my mom for a second. Oh, no, that's great. 
<laughs> I, I love that. I think that's terrific, man. How you doing this evening, my friend? Doing well, man. It's been a long day. I had to go in super, super early to work to shut the building's water down. So I was there at like 5, 30, 5 a.m. Uh -huh. I just got out like an hour ago. So it's been awesome. Yeah. That is a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, you know, I want to have you on next week because, you know, I want to have you and Max on because I wanted to do a thing on MagFed, you know, uh, at least uh, every few weeks. And, you know, you are the MagFed guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, Max, he's actually right over here. He's going to be coming over in a second. He's just finishing something up at his desk. Oh, yeah, cool. You you wanna, know, he had uh, something to show you. He had something to show you, Fred. What up, Fred? Okay. Hey. What's going on, Max? How you doing, my friend? Pretty good. Oh. Living the dream. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you know, these two guys ride Harleys, too, like I do. So, you know, they're, 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 the specialness just keeps building with these guys. It's cool. I actually <laughs> just got my street glide going again. Oh, did you? Yeah, right on. Try it sometime. <laughs> yeah, guys, I want you. I want you guys to meet um, Howdy. This guy right. goes back forty some years. Very good friend of mine. He uh, played for the Master Blasters a yeah. lot of years. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, and um, he's just uh, he's a good guy. And I was telling him about you two. You know how you know turning the baton over to you guys really yeah. makes me feel comfortable because you know your attitude and the way you guys present yourself to the public i think is nothing short of fantastic i really really do hey gino what's going on buddy thank you what's up gino yeah where's my pallet of bananas man <laughs> you want that banana clip bad don't you <laughs> that, that and, and the new gun dude like i yeah. i'm so sick i'm so I got like, for it to come I got out like 40 I'm, of I'm them sitting over out. here no, <laughs> I'm I'm waiting for the rip saw. I'm, I'm I'm bored of everything else, man. Well, you know that rip saw is really going to be something great, and you know, you know, Gino's like like Dan Colby and Tim Schloss. You know, Tim Schloss, we had he came out with uh, the original Tiger Stripe, yeah. but it took a year. Every time he'd send the color that he want, they'd come back with a different shade, and he's such a perfectionist. It was no way. You know, Dan Colby from with Immortal Air. Same way. Well, that's how Gino is with his stuff. He just doesn't I mean, want to put crap out there, you know? That's good. And I'd rather it be perfect on release than, you know, have to troubleshoot a bunch of stuff on our own and, you know, have a have a subpar marker. I'd rather have it be perfect out of the box. Absolutely. And I know he can do it. He will, yeah. What do you got there, Max? So this used to belong to Noah. That was one of my first mag feds, and I sold it to him, and now he's uh, taking it to the top level. <laughs> wow. I threw a little bit too much money into this thing, but it came out pretty good. Hey, you guys play yeah. like this thing is pretty much designed to shoot first strikes only. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It can it can shoot round ball, but I wouldn't recommend it with the, the way he set it up. He's got a lot of parts that are designed for the first strikes. Yeah, so right. Too so, a, let me ask you a question. The first strikes don't break as easy as the round ball, correct? Uh no, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that at all. Um they're no. they're moving pretty good, and I have never had a never had a bounce with a first strike. I've never been bounced with one, and I've never bounced someone with one. No. They shoot true. Wow. Well, look at that. Yeah, how did these guys these guys live mag fat? I mean, some of the stuff they put together yeah. is amazing. Hey, you Actually, know, I've never got to play the old days though with twelve grand pump gun, dinosaur. Oh, well, I've I've played pump a little bit before, but not too much. This is pretty close. We only got twenty rounds. Eh, it is, but it isn't, man, because you know, yeah, you, you, the pump gun, man, you can make a mistake, chop a ball, then you clean your barrel out. You know. Yeah. Yep. I have a. I also have a bolt action uh, sniper rifle. Yeah. Matter of fact, Kevin, uh, you put up a termite, a second generation termite for sale. I seen that. Yeah, with a, with a howdy bolt in it. It's got it's deck, man. It's a good gun. Yeah, that's awesome. Where yeah, you know on? this. This is howdy. This is the guy that made the bolt, guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the guy that made the special bolt for those back in the day. Well, yeah. it's an honor to me, man. Yeah, hey, my pleasure, man. Hey, it's it's a family, man. Paypal's a family, right? Yeah. We're glad to be a part of it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you you guys, you two guys are actually becoming a very good part of it, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I was telling them a story about how we linked up, Noah, yeah. and then you know, then how you brought Max on, you know, and and you and Max are, you know, you guys are definitely a plus for our sport. 
There is absolutely no that. doubt about it. Yeah. Well, That's the only why, thing you know, is, uh, Max has been here with me from the start. He actually, this was something him and I came up with uh, uh, together on day one. We've been partners from the beginning. Yeah. And oh, you so couldn't have cool. picked a better guy. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, yeah. Fred. It's so cool to hear that, that those kind of things from you guys because I heard the same thing from Reaper, and it's it's awesome. It keeps us motivated and going to do what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reaper just got back. He was on that. A big <laughs> he wanted us to go on that. I was like, dude, I can't afford all that. He, he wanted me to go on it too, but you know, I just had I had a, a surgery. I had heart surgery, so yeah. um, kind of put me down for a while. Were you, I'm we're to, glad you're, you're doing better now. Oh yeah, I'm doing great now. I just uh, I'll be back at it. I'm going to come down and do the Decay of Nations. Uh, oh, I'm going to yeah. bring the the whole setup down. We're going to go live down there for that because you know awesome. that's Bud's fortieth year, my fortieth year, and Geo's fortieth year in business down there. Yeah. So yeah, we know, plan to go live too, so we can we can link up and and do some footage and stuff together. Fred, it'd be awesome. Yeah, uh, Noah's, Noah's gonna have it. a camera on his on his mask, on his gun. I'm gonna have a camera in both hands. The light, it's gonna be wild. <laughs> I got. Hold on, show him the vest I got you. I got. I got Max a vest so he can film now. Oh, <laughs> there, there you go. I get there shot more filming than playing. Yeah, you know Keith Kissel does that too. That that guy that hangs with me all the time, and he yeah. gets a crap shot out of him. But he gets some good <laughs> shots, though, too, you know? I mean, he, yeah, so does he, he, he man. Take he the good with the bad. more riddled than I am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to love it. So what do you Bro, think of these guys, yeah. Audi, huh? Yeah, they promoting the sport, man. That's what it's all about, making friends. Yeah. First yeah. impression, they're pretty Fun. good, huh? Hey, Fred, I got one more thing to show you tonight. Yeah, he wants to shoot. show you what Ramon was shooting this weekend. Yeah, I got Ramon to shoot a, a MagFed finally, but it's one you might recognize. It's an older one. Oh, wow. Hold on. Where's the, Didn't you where's... have that one? Wasn't that yours? Yeah. yeah. With the Hammer 7 mags. Nice That's dot. yours, isn't it, Noah? Um, yeah, it was donated to us from uh, Escondido Gotcha. He actually donated right. it to us to uh, to raffle off. Um, we're going to be raffling off like a nice chest rig with taco mag pouches. And we're going to give someone a complete setup with a gun and vest and mags and all. Wow. What, what, do you, what are you uh, doing that for? Uh, nothing. I, it's just uh, something we wanted to do. We wanted to just try and get, you know, some kind of new player into the sport. We're actually thinking about... Yeah. Uh, raffling it this weekend um, at the Go Paintball event. It seems like a good place. There's going to be a lot of uh, newcomers coming in, so um, that might be the best place for us to find someone who really needs a gun like this. Oh, right. And it's going to go to those paintball guys? Wait, you guys what's going where? You're going to use the money then for... Oh, for that's what you're asking. Reason? Yes, yeah. The, so the money will go back into, you know, you know, more apparel, more, you know, stuff like that. We just did a almost a thousand dollar order on jerseys. We put in, I think it was like 41 uh, custom jerseys for DPG guys. So we, 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 we try to put everything we make back into what we're doing to try and grow, you know, our channel and grow the sport of mag fed and paintball as much as we possibly can. Well, you guys, you guys going to have a, 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 you know, a, I guess a, a spot down there at the K of nations and to be selling your stuff, aren't you? Yes, sir. We will, and um, we're, we've been doing a lot of work um, with Push Paintball lately, and um, we're actually going to be on the 23rd coming up. We're going to be running a booth with them, so good. That'll, be pretty, oh. that'll be pretty cool. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy for you guys. You guys are doing pretty good, man. You really, Thanks, really Fred. are. And we you got, really are giving you got it our people all. liking you. Yeah, you got people liking you because you know <laughs> you can ask Audi too, man. You know the right people can make or break you in this work. <laughs> that's very true that's very true yeah and we we try to have the relationships you know with all the right people like yourself fred and and you've helped us out tremendously growing our channel growing the awareness of us and you know just getting us out there so we can't thank you enough for what you've done for us oh, i appreciate that very much but oh here's actually you the earn best it. that's gonna go with it oh wow wow <laughs> It's so, it's, how, it's, many, it's, how many clips it's, does it's that exactly hold? like I wear? I wear a heavier one like this. Max wears a, a bit of a lighter one, but it's a full plate carrier with look with at that, Hardy. Is that 
It's got the quick release on the side so you can take nice. it off between games. Look at that. How many mags does it hold? The So the vest here holds three on the front, and um, depending on what uh, we give out, we're going to add more to it because it can hold take more mags here on the sides and sure. on this side here. And actually on my rig, I run – a mag sticking straight up on my back so I can reach back and grab it and pull it out if I absolutely it's like my savior mag. How many how many rounds in each mag? About 20 rounds and 20 19 to 20 rounds per mag. They wow. say about 20, but they that's pushing it sometimes. You don't want to blow them up. Hey let, let, let me ask you one of the things about mag fit, stealth is a big part of the game too, man. You know? Oh yeah, for sure. So we the magfed when it's when it's magfed versus magfed, you can really tell a difference in the game because it's a lot more slower and more tactical, and there's a lot more tactical like rushes yeah. that go on because a lot of guys out there count their shots and they know about when twenty paintballs have come at them, and yeah. when you know the next the guy ten feet away from him is reloading, that's usually when two guys go up on them and you know. <laughs> Take them out. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot more, um, a lot more team, like small team tactics involved. Like Max and I, we run together quite often, and you know we pretty much go back to back through everywhere we go, so we don't get surprised from behind, we don't get shot from above. I mean, right. Max has saved my ass and, uh, uh, many times from someone that I didn't get to see, and he ended up seeing him. So it's definitely a, a different style of game of paintball, but it's it's. It's awesome. I, I would I would suggest it to anyone if you're looking for something a little bit more like scenario kind of. Well, strategic, you know. Yes, yeah, there's it, the it, word strategic. Yeah, yeah. It, it's but, not it's not spray and pray. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. You know you don't have you see, 108 you... balls in your hopper and a thousand balls on your back and you can shoot 20 balls a second. Yeah, no, it's none of that. I watch guys go out with a case on them. Yeah, that's crazy, man. We, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was... My my heaviest loadout is uh, I think twelve or thirteen <laughs> magazines, and that's two hundred and forty rounds. Wow, that's so <laughs> Red <Schultz with> <laughs> that's, that's that's really really What howdy? I didn't hear you. What'd you say, howdy? I, I said Fred Schultz predicted that years back in his cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and then it was produced, man. The the mega loader, man, that held a case of paintballs, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, the yeah. backpack thing. Yeah, yeah. I actually yeah. just I just saw a video again. It popped up on my on my Instagram the other day. Someone was using it. One of them at I think the Oregon Mega Game a couple weeks back. And I, I was watching the video on the guy using that thing. I think Wolf was uh, he. It was on Wolf's account. Yeah, it, was, it was pretty sweet. That's dope, man. Wow. You know, yeah, I band. missed you guys. I missed you guys down there. I went down there, you know, for Aaron Carter's thing. Yeah, yeah I was well, you guys would be there. there. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty good. But you know, yeah, I wanted to introduce you to Jim Lively. Was down there, yeah. and uh, you know, he had back in the day. Um, I, I, oh. I don't know. You could almost say that that was probably the best event if you had to pick one event. That you wanted to go do what would have been Jim Lively's Masters. What do you, you think, know, Howdy? Well, you always said it, Fred. The two was a World Cup and and then you know Jim and Lively. The Masters. Masters. Yeah. And and the Masters, the location was beautiful. Hermitage, man. The, 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 you know the food, the atmosphere was always great. You know? It's always good with free food, man. A lot yeah, of, it would, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, food, man. You got to have the good yeah. food. Man. Yeah, it did too. You know. Yeah, but, this. Yeah, and it was international. That was it made even more special. Yeah, we had guys from all around the world uh, come and play there. Russians, Japanese. They're coming in to play paintball, man. Uh, yeah. What could you ask for? It's, it's an international. And it was in the woods. It was it was it was woods ball, many different fields, but it was actually pretty cool. I wish I could turn back time and take you two guys there to see it. You would have yeah. you would have tripped. It was uh it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We oh, played yeah. we played a five man there, guys, and it rained so hard during the five man that you could not see 40 feet and you had to get within 20 feet to shoot somebody because the paint was rain or the rain was raining so hard it broke the paintballs. Oh my god. <laughs> it <laughs> was intense. I mean, it, it you had to That's see it. It challenge. was in I mean, we got plastic bags over our markers. It was just <laughs> intense. Yeah. So 
I, I you, guy, right, you got the ball. You got the pod kid running around with an umbrella behind you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wish. I always say that too. No, you know. I wish I could take. Uh, you know, some of the 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 younger guys that I really like a lot, like you and Max, and a couple other ones, and take you guys back in time to to really show you. You know what it was like. It's a whole different atmosphere now than oh, what yeah. it was then. Totally, totally different app. Oh, the, the Disney thing is is one of the things I always tell people about, like, when they're like, oh, what's, like, the craziest thing you've ever heard in paintball? It's like, you know, I talk about, you know. The, Did you ever get to watch I, it? What's that? Did you ever get to watch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We watched it at Ramon's shop, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's also the MTV one was pretty good, too. Those guys were a bunch of little shits, but it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe you got you got uh, Disney to actually do it and uh, and allow you Not know easy. baseball guns into their park. Not and easy. Was, and, and you know what's was really wild. cool too. What was really cool about it is when we just before we got to play, we were in the flag station, and then we had the big nets. They netted off the street, but the crowd kept gathering behind us. You know, behind the net, and and just before it was to take off, these people were all. Cheery. I mean, they had it so amped up, it was unbelievable. I, I thought I drank a gallon of Mountain Dew. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was pumped up big time. Oh, hey. so, a gallon of Mountain Dew will do that to you. <laughs> it will. You guys ever meet Ryan Courtney? Ryan Courtney. Huh? Yeah, yeah, if you get a chance, friend him. He travel. You know, he travels all the time. The guy's I on the road. I don't um, know. Maybe if I seen a picture of him, I could tell you, but I don't know for sure. Oh, he's a great guy. He he travels all the time. Up, Ryan? Uh, pretty cool. So, but yeah, you get a chance. Uh, you'd like him. Same so, thing. So hung out with you many years ago, Fred, at the Masters event in Tennessee. Played with the family. Is that a fact? Wow. Yeah, there was a lot of teams that would go to. They'd have the. It was actually a four day event. Yeah. They'd have the yeah, they'd have the five man first and then the ten man. And when we first started doing it, it was fifteen man teams and it was all pump. Yeah, oh, so. pump gun. Yeah. yeah, all pump gun, fifteen man teams. It yep. was uh it was pretty cool. And here yeah. Courtney is saying hi to you guys. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Where are you normally playing? Maybe we can meet up sometime. You yeah, you got yeah, link up with them. Um, Ryan, you're gonna love these guys, you know. Um, you know me, I don't push anybody that sucks, period. You know, <laughs> the, like the people that. that suck, they got their own own world. I don't want to be life's too short, so, life's too short for that, Fred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially when you get my age, you'll be like, like, holy crap, you know? it's really short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know, you, you gotta love it, you know. I mean. What you guys are, you know, working together to, you know, having such a good partner. You know, I had a construction company uh, for years with a partner of mine, and we were together, I don't know, 18, 19 years. As a matter of fact, I was running all over the world while he was taking care of business here. And uh, all that time, you know, we never had an argument. We never argued about anything. You know, if something came up, we just dealt with it. And and uh, straightened it out and moved on. And that's what I see in you two guys. You know, um, I don't think you guys could have found a better, better partners. There we appreciate that, Fred. We really work hard to to keep you know our relationship at, at a, a a really good level because him and I work really well together, and um, we do we. You know, we think we can take this thing, you know, somewhere high and, and that's all we're trying to do. And, you know, with with him, you know, at my back, I think we really can do something good for the sport of paintball. Yeah, no, I good. think you can, too. I couldn't work with Max because he's better looking than I am. That would that would hang <laughs> heavy on me. Uh, you know, other, than that, Zoolander? <laughs> other than that, if he'd wear a bag, I'd be his buddy all the time. So, <laughs> so uh, what, do you guys, what do you guys got going on now? Because, you know, you guys always got something going on. Well, it's great you say that, Fred, because um, there's we realize that, you know, yeah, we're at the head of this, but it's bigger than both of us. And um, things are going great. Tell them about the team, no? Yeah, we um, we actually have grown quite a bit in, in the past six months. Um, we just did a um, – well, we were going to do a jersey order, and we were, um, you know, going to get a bunch of blanks, you know, just to sell and whatnot. But we had so, so many people – 
want, you know, custom, you know, named and numbered jerseys um, that we just didn't end up doing it. We had, I think it was like 44 was 43 was the final number of jerseys for people like our team our team i guess is you know 43 people strong now and that's not including you know all the people who have you know the first gen jerseys and whatnot that are all a part of it that you know you know we we've just been and and every time we go out to sc village uh we usually have between 15 and 20 people uh turn out to come play with us you know we we just play walk-ons but we, you know, hang out in the parking lot. We make a nice big camp and everyone hangs out. It's like a nice little community. And, you know, people are stopping in all day and checking stuff out. Because you That's know, how you build your out. reputation, no, Noah. Yeah. That, that's how you, that's how people end up liking you is because of that. You know, I mean, if you think you're better than what you really are, nobody's going to like you. You know, that's, I, I don't know if you guys know the Predators over in England, Marcus Davis. I don't know if you ever heard of him, but uh, yeah, Marcus Davis is, uh, he's big over in England. And years ago, I, I was over in England playing and we were sitting at a table out by the swimming pool. And Marcus comes up to me and he goes, you know, he says, I want to be the Fred Schultz of England. What's it take? And I go, very simple philosophy. Be nice to people. That's all it takes. Because back in the day, we were pro players. We were the first pro players in paintball, period. And some of these guys had their heads so far up their ass, they couldn't see daylight for nothing. I see kids go up to them to talk to them about something, and they'd shine them on, you know. And these guys, they were they were here, and then they were gone, period. And the reason they were gone is because once you make a lot of enemies, you are not going to find a lot of friends anymore. So they quit the sport. No, so, you know, you guys, you guys are doing it right. PPG is, you know, we're – we're inclusive to everybody. You know, we don't have, we don't have requirements to join. We, we, all that we ask is, you know, that you get maybe a Jersey or a t-shirt and you come play with us once or twice a month. And, uh, and beyond that, you know, you're part of the family and you're part of us. And, you know, people have really been loving that kind of atmosphere and whatnot. There's no obligations. Um, you know, we just, you know, try to go out and have the best time we can and with the best people we can and stay humble. Yep. And, uh, we just created, a like a, like a chat channel for the, everybody to talk in. And there's almost 85 people in it now. There so and, and we, I, we've just been inviting everyone to it and, you know, people are using it for like a, almost like a database to find people to play with. Like we have a weekend meetup section and you just, you know, text, Hey, I'm going to SC village this weekend. Who's going. And, you know, you'll get like 10 people respond back. Oh, I'm going to jungle. I'm going to SC. I'm going here. And, you know, they can, you know, use it, use the app to, to talk to each other and, you know, you know, maybe create a new group or something. Yep. Well, you know, um, speaking of SC, there's an event coming up this weekend. Uh, Zayla got a hold of me and wanted me to come down there, but I can't get down there this weekend. Yes, sir. Um, but but uh, you guys are going to be there, right? Yeah, we're actually going to be there with Push Paintball. Um, we're going to be running a booth, booth with them. Um, so we're going to be there with our merch and some of theirs as well. We'll be hanging out all day, playing paintball and, uh, selling some stuff, doing some free raffle type stuff. And there's going to be gel blasters all day. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff to do. And all the vendors are going to, um, they're going to have little games and stuff out front of their, out front of their, um, little tables and whatnot, you know? Um, so Ginger Dynamics is coming, World War Paint, Weapons, Dye Paintball, Autococker Parts, and um, there's going to be a bunch of food vendors as well. And, you know, it's just going to be regular walk-on play um, with the added bonus of seeing all the event, you know, like going on in the parking lot. There's no extra charge. There's no extra cost to your admission for the day. Um, it's just something that uh, they're putting on. And, you know, we're going to go help them, you know, have the best event that they possibly can. And it's going to be a blast. Now, I want to throw this, throw this out real quick here. You guys got another legend from years and years ago that's uh, watching right now, Ed Foreman. There you go. Yeah, oh, Ed Foreman. Ed? Yeah. yeah, Foreman is watching you right now. And, uh, you know, Ed, take note of these guys. You know, Ed's a great guy. You know, he's uh, old school like I am. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. But take note of these guys, Ed. Um, you know, and and spread the word on 
these paintball guys because uh, these guys are, are worth spreading the word on. They really are. Ed Poor, really a great, great, great guy. Um, yep. Nice, yeah. to, nice to meet you, Ed. Hopefully we can play together sometime. Real quick, the, the SC thing that's going to happen this weekend, what's the theme of it? Is there a theme going on with it? Um, not really. It's going to, so it's going to be on uh, Sunday, the 23rd. It's more of like, um, like, it, so the event's called go paintball day. So it's, yep. it's really just encouraging, you know, everyone and anyone to get out and play all are welcome, you know, kids all the way down to, I think it's 10 years old. I think you have to be to play paint, to play 68 caliber paintball. Um, but you know, there, there's, like I said, it's going to be just regular walk-on games with the added bonus of having the, uh, all the vendors out in the parking lot. They're like, there's going to be no extra charge for admission. Um, and like I said, all are like what Max said, all are welcome. Um, it's going to be more of like a, like a calm, like friendly game. You know, we're not, no one's going out there to shoot ropes on anybody where, you know, if there's new, you know, there's going to be new people there. So we're going to show them how to play and, and you no, know, no, and I will bring all our guns. So most likely all our guns will be on the field and we'll be <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll getting a few people to make some bad financial choices and buy some bad <laughs> guns. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, how, do, how do you see what I'm talking about these kids? Oh <laughs> man. You're going to spend a lot of money on mags. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think it is, too, Howdy? Uh, unbelievable. You know what? I one of the things I really enjoy listening to they say, "Yeah, in the parking lot, it, it, something's never changed. Everybody has, <laughs> yeah. parking lot, man, has a good time." Just yes, sir. Work. Parking lot pimping. <laughs> the tailgate party is always going on during the in the, the the middle of the game, the, <laughs> yeah, the, the missions. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, it's uh, I, I'm looking forward because you know, you know, I I love Geo. You know, yeah. Geo. Uh, the man. Yeah, he's uh, he's a great guy, and that's all there is to it. When is yeah. the 40th? See, here you go, Kathy Alvarez. What did she say? When is the 40 year anniversary? It is going to be in September, Kathy, and it's down at SC Village. Um, it's going to be celebrated at Decay of Nations. I'm, I'm correct. I'm, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and that's in September. I can't. I've got it written down someplace, but I have to dig through it. Um, I know my birthday is uh my birthday's the twenty fourth, so we're gonna do my birthday thing and everything for it down there. So it should be pretty cool. cool. There you go. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna be twenty nine again. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look at day over thirty, Fred. Come yeah. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I, love man it. I, I look at that. I tell you, you're my favorite. <laughs> I'm like, hey. I always tell Reaper to to share me his secrets. Yeah. Tell me his, yeah. Uh, yeah, his, but you don't uh, want all the Botox people. he's got. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, all his all his Botox? Yeah. He's oh, gonna be down there for the K of Nations. Um, awesome. because uh I'm gonna send him out like I did before. I'll have Keith Kissel, my buddy, down there with me. And uh I sent those two out remotely and uh I went live, but I could pull them up like I pull you guys up. And they were out there doing remote things, and they were crazy. It was funny as hell. That's so, awesome. Yeah, we'd love to. Yeah, you know, Reaper, Reaper, and I, you know, we're we're pretty good friends. Him and I get along. This is what I good. see when I see you, Fred. There you go. Oh, oh wow! Look out! There we go. <laughs> Look, Look at that guy. <laughs> when we were young, Fred. Yeah. When we were young. Yeah. Yeah, you know the sad part is, you know, after the show now, I look at the hair and start crying. But you oh, know, what are you talking about? It's still there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all on the back. It's from riding my Harley all them years with no helmet. Hell yeah, <laughs> hey, I love worth it. it. It was worth it. it. Damn well worth it. Well, you know, guys, <laughs> we went an hour. I'm so glad that uh, Noah and Max that you guys jumped on because I think the world of you two guys. Um, I, I, the reason that I really like introducing you to everybody that I think is really good in paintball and uh, guys that can really help you. I think you're well worth it. I think, uh, I think that, you know, once we finally check out because, you know, you know, how do you know that we're on our, our downslide, you know, we're not going <laughs> up a hill anymore. We're going down the hill now. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like a car I used to have, you know, we called it the rolls can hardly because it yeah. could roll down one hill can hardly make it up the next one. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> so, I rolls can hardly. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
But anyhow, you know, guys, I appreciate you jumping on tonight. Yeah. I am without a doubt looking forward to having you on again before the decay of nations. Yes, sir. And, we'll be on uh, many times before the decay. We yeah. we have a lot of promoting to do for SC and uh, for uh, for decay. We're going to try and really help, you know, make this year the best year it's ever been. Yeah. Well, that's what I want to do, too. I want to try to draw as many people in as we can. So um, maybe in a couple of weeks, you two guys come back on. Yes, sir. There you go. Okay, well, you know, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it. You know, Fred, we're just trying to be the best versions of ourselves and, and lead the lead the next generation. Like yeah. You, like you taught us. You know, you know, the ticket is, Max, you know, Bud Orr is the one who really brought it up to me. He goes, you know, I see a lot of guys, he said they jump on their podcasts and stuff, and they, they try to be somebody they're not, and it doesn't go over. And, you know, I you find nothing. They what you're hearing opinion. right now. It's the same thing you get, you know, a little crazy, a little off the wall sometimes. But, you know, it's just me. And how do you know I've never changed over the years. I like being this way. And when you are yourself, you have nothing to hide. You don't ever have to worry about anything. You know, it, it, people can like you guys for what you guys are because yeah. you guys are you guys are great. You really are. I really enjoy being your friends. Well, we appreciate that, Fred. Feelings mutual for sure. You've done so much for tbg that we could i don't think we could ever repay you uh it's just starting we're, we're gonna do a lot more for you two guys i'm gonna let you say, say goodbye to everybody and uh once again i want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to jump on here with me tonight yes sir you let me know when uh you want us to come back on and we'll be there a couple Good. of weeks yes sir all right everybody thanks for having us on tonight we'll see you later ed um and Ryan, hopefully we get to play soon together, guys. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, message the channel on Instagram or me on Facebook. That's the best way to get a hold of us. Um, it's those paintball guys on Instagram. Um, and it's just my personal account on Facebook. So I'd love to talk to you guys and see when we can play. And uh, thanks for having us on, guys. Yep. Let us know if you have any questions or comments. And Braden, that is a good question. Maybe we can answer that next time, talking about mentors. Good luck, guys. Yeah, great, Braden. I want you to stay in touch with me. You know, um, I'm going to bring these guys on in a couple of weeks because um, I, I love having these two guys on. You know, they're very knowledgeable. You know, sometimes I get these two going, I just go get a sandwich and let them talk. Uh, <laughs> but you know, uh, maybe maybe we can you can jump on with us. Um, so stay in touch with me, and maybe yes, when sir. I have these guys on in two weeks, maybe we can put you on, Braden, and uh, we can all meet each other. How's that? That sounds good to us. Cool. You guys good with that? Yes, sir. All day. We got your back, Fred. All right, guys. You guys stay safe, and thanks again for coming on tonight. Yes, sir. Have a great night, Fred. Thank you. Have a great All night. Right, Howdy. Brother. Good luck with everything, guys. Thank you. Nice. What do you think of those two, Howdy? Outstanding, good. man. Hey, boy, I told you. I told you oh, these kids are great. One person at a time, Fred, you know? There you go. That's it. That's how, that's, that's how we do it, you know? Howdy, you know, I, I wasn't sure I was going to even jump on tonight. And I got a hold of you and asked you if you would come on with me tonight. And, um, you know, and I wanted to put the, the paintball guys on because they're they're absolutely great. Yeah. Let me see, friended. I'm going to check my friend thing right now. Because, Brendan, if you're on there, I am going to take it right now. Let me see here. Wow, I got so much stuff here. Holy crap. Ah, uh, well, one second, Howdy. I don't want you going nowhere. <laughs> You're getting bombarded, man. Hey, that's good, though. I am, yeah, and I don't have it on here, uh, Braden, so I'll be looking for it. Not yet. I got 500 and, oh, geez. I'll be looking for it, Braden. When it comes in, I'm accepting it, buddy. Yeah. And yeah. Kenny, Kenny Chavez. Appreciate you watching tonight, Kenny. You're a good awesome. guy. Love the heck out of you. Ed Foreman, I want to have you on, Ed. Um, oh, definitely have Ed on, man. Yeah, you know, um, what happened in his family just breaks my heart. But, yeah. you know, Ed's a good guy. And, uh, you know, um, I don't even know what to say. I just, you know, we all feel sorry for Ed. And, Ed, we love you. And we love your son too. I want you to know that. Yeah. So, it's an okay, man. It's absolutely. So, all right, Howdy. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. 
Um, once again, you're the best. Oh, that's Fred. Jesus. Good having you back on the air. That's all. And, and to everybody, thanks for hanging in there. I know you're as glad as I am that Fred's back on the air. And uh, we can continue this paintball family talk, man. It's always good. So, everyone, good night. I'll see you in a minute, Howdy. Hold tight. All right, everybody. I, you know, I couldn't ask for better guests than tonight. You know, Noah and Max and, and Howdy. It's all about good people and paintball. You know, if you guys want paintball to grow, you know, I get a lot of lip service from people. Oh, yeah, I want paintball to grow. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to work hard at it. Well, you know, work at, hard at it by being good to somebody and getting them involved in the sport. That's the ticket, you know. Sour grapes doesn't get anything but sour wine. You know, uh, let's all work together and make this happen. So until next Tuesday evening, 6 o'clock Pacific time, please, everybody, play hard, play safe, play fair, get out there and play paintball. See you next week. All right. Bye now.